Stay curious, keep learning. This is www.statistical.agency. Have you ever pondered over the significance of understanding the Kaiser Meyer Olkin measure and Bartlett's test in factor analysis? Let's dive into this intriguing subject. Exploratory factor analysis, or EFA, a statistical method, is widely used to understand the structure and patterns in a set of observed variables by breaking them down into factors. However, it is crucial to assess whether the data is suitable for factor analysis. This is where the KMO measure and Bartlett's test come into play. The kaiser meyer olkin measure, or KMO, gauges the degree of common variance among the observed variables. In simpler terms, it measures the amount of shared information. The KMO value ranges from 0 to 1. A KMO value greater than 0.5 indicates that the data is suitable for factor analysis. Breaking it down further, a KMO value greater than 0.6 is deemed acceptable, greater than 0.7 is good, over 0.8 is very good, and anything above 0.9 is excellent. These figures provide an indication of the level of shared information among the variables and thus the appropriateness of the factor analysis. On the other hand, Bartlett's test of sphericity assesses the hypothesis of homogeneity in the correlation matrix. In layman's terms, it checks if the variables are sufficiently interrelated to be used in factor analysis. A significant value in Bartlett's test would suggest strong correlations between variables, making them suitable for factor analysis. Specifically, a significance value less than 0.05 is considered appropriate. In short, for a suitable factor analysis, the KMO value should be above 0.5, indicating a good degree of common variance. Simultaneously, Bartlett's test should yield a significance value less than 0.05, suggesting that the variables are sufficiently interrelated. So, to sum it all up, the KMO measure and Bartlett's test are fundamental to ensuring the suitability of your data for factor analysis. They help in understanding the degree of shared information and interrelation among variables, thus aiding in making more informed and effective decisions. So, next time you're delving into factor analysis, remember the importance of these two statistical tests. Thank you for joining in on this journey into the world of factor analysis. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, this is www.statistical.agency, signing off.